right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with a handsome debonair Larry. He's gonna show us his semi truck. It's a Peterbilt. Tell us all about your truck, Larry. Well, this is a 1999 Peterbilt 379. It's got a 600 cat engine under the hood, 18 speed Eaton Fork transmission, 358 Rockwell rear ends. It's got a 144 inch sleeper on it that was custom made in Dallas, Texas. And I've got over 2.5 million miles on it. Been out here driving for almost 40 years. And a lot of that's been with ham radio. I know, I kind of looked at the truck before. I can't count how many antennas you got. How many antennas all together? I think there's seven up there right now with a few more to go when I'm done. All right, so tell us what antennas you're using. One that looks like a Tar Heel. Well, there are no Tar Heels on here. I just bought a Tar Heel here at the Ham Fest. Right. And that's going to go on in place of this high Q right now, which is a high Q, three inch coil. It goes from 10 to 80 meters. I have a Wolf River coil extension on it for portable use while I'm parked like I am right now. Right. The mounts are homemade on the opposite side of the truck for HF. That's a GS3 married, made by Gary Stuckey. He's no longer in business. It's a great antenna for six meters and down. Uh, I have a Comet dual band on this side, six meters on this side. Uh, chicken band antenna for CB and another dual band antenna. And uh, one of the dual band antennas is for satellite and ISS work. He's doing ISS stuff from here? All right, so let's see these radios, man. Okay, you I'm told gonna, me about it. I'm gonna open up the cab, go ahead and get a shot of it. I've got cats that ride with me. Say, what's that's, the cat's call sign? That's Beanie. That's uh, <laughs> OIC U812. <laughs> and Rocky, he's up on the dash right now. Oh yeah, there he is. And I then the Gizmo, she just came up to say hi. She's down there on the floor. Those are my co-pilots. Uh, <laughs> they keep they keep the riffraff out of the truck. Now tell me about these radios. What are we on the left from the left side? Start at the top and go down. I okay. see you got a 991A. Yeah, the that? left side is a 991A, and I use that for rag chewing as well as Yezu System Fusion and Wires X. Uh, I also am hooked up to a DMR via Pi Star with a hotspot, an MMDVM hotspot. Underneath that's a FTDX10, which I use for rag chewing. The 991A also is in a split mode at times for ISS and satellite work. Opposite that, I've uh, got two FT897s. One's dedicated to six meter. The other one is a backup in case everything else fails for all band and all mode. Uh, I do have a diamond watt meter up there for the CB or the uh, HF amplifiers and radios. Uh, you see a box there with switches on it. That is my capacitance box to match my HF radios in line. The watt meter above that is to monitor the CB radio. Up above, underneath the cowling, there's a CB radio in 2 meter and 70 centimeter, which is a Kenwood DMB70. And then underneath the radios is a Metron MA1000 Bravo 10 through 80 meter brick. Uh, wow. They no longer make those, but they're a really good, tough amplifier for HF. And that's pretty much the extent of it. And I what's this Kenwood here? That's a TS-2000 Kenwood, those are actually set up for satellite work, so that's why I bought that. I haven't utilized it for satellites as of yet, but that's a work in progress. I'm impressed, my man. This is some serious... You're never bored on the road. I am not. You're, not, you're never bored. That's great. And how did you... When did you start getting into ham radio? How old were you when you got into it? Uh, let's see. That was 1994, so... I suppose I was about 30 years old at the time, 32, I think. And you mostly haul farm equipment? I haul farm and construction equipment, uh, oversized loads and stuff this like that. This is like your home away from home. It is my thing. home. I spend 95% of my time for radio work is from this truck. I do right. have a station at home. Interesting story about how I got into ham radio. Uh, as a truck driver, most of us operate CBs. Right. I was in a CB radio shop one day and I seen this 
fancy looking CB radio in a display case, I inquired about it. It was a Ranger 2950. And the gentleman told me about 11 and 10 meters. Well, I knew nothing about that. I didn't understand 10 meters from 11 meters to a right. hole in a wall. But I bought the thing, and he told me not to transmit above 28 megahertz. He said, you can listen, but you need an FCC license to transmit there. So I started listening. And compared to somebody that's been listening to CB radio for all these years, the conversation on 10 meters was intelligent conversation. It was civil, it was cordial. Right. They were talking about radio propagation, communication techniques, Morse code, uh, antennas, towers, and the like. And I, that's what got me into ham radio. I wanted to be part of that group. That's amazing. And the rest is history. That's amazing. And I, I find it, first of all, we're here at Hamcation, and it's a giant orange truck. You cannot miss this thing if you're anywhere near here. Let me just uh, flip the camera around. Video. I'll back up a little bit more. So here is Larry. Larry was uh, a great guy. Larry brought 44 pounds of beef brisket and smoked it yesterday. He's been feeding hundreds of people here for free. He's such a nice guy. So I said, I have to go see your truck. I got to talk about you because you probably go to more than one ham fest a year. Not really. This, this is it? This is my forte here. I went to Xenia last year only because I happened to be going through during that time. Right. And Ken K4KKJ, who just left, he happened to be there. So we met up. A number of friends that were here this year were there also. Okay. Uh, this is my way. <clears throat> Amateur radio has blessed and enhanced my life in ways that no other hobby has done. And this is my way of paying it forward. So, next year and every year, as long as I'm able to, I will be here at Hamcation. The barbecue is free. Brisket, homemade beans, potato salad, chips, The barbecue and sauce. beans were incredible. We, incredible. We do it right here on site. All you got to do is know, come on I know, I've been smelling by. it for two days. <laughs> yeah, and I've been wearing it for two um, days. I lost a lot of weight. I'm gaining it back, I think, just hanging out with this guy. But anyway, that's Larry, and your call sign again, Larry? Kilo Bravo Zero Lima Tango Tango, a.k.a. Loud Talking Trucker. You can follow me online at APRS using my call sign, Dash 14. I usually have the APRS on at okay. all times. So. That's excellent. So we'll know where he is all around the country. So, Larry, thank you so much for the two meals you gave me at this weekend. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I loved your company. I loved the stories you were telling with your friends. It was a beautiful thing, so thanks for having me you over here. You come on by so the barbecue, welcome. make sure you wear your boots because it's going to get deep. <laughs> and it's good. This is going up on YouTube soon. I'm going to get it up as fast as I can. Bye-bye, folks. Nice Ciao. to meet you Ciao. Thanks all. for watching. Adios.